Snowflakes, who get shaken and stirred by serial womanizer spy James Bond, will now be given a trigger warning before watching any of the early legendary films. The body in charge of promoting British flicks, the British Film Institute, has slapped cautious uh, trigger warnings on 007's movies because they, quote, may cause offence. Now, it comes as the BFI hosts an event at London South Bank that celebrates the work of John Barry, so he's the English composer who wrote the scores for 11 Bond films, including Goldfinger and You Only Live Twice. Here's what they said on their website. Please note that many of these films contain language, images or other content that reflect views prevalent in its time but will cause offence today. Well, 1964 hit Goldfinger, featuring villain Oddjob, has been criticised by disability campaigners because he had a cleft palate. Meanwhile, You Only Live Twice, Sir Sean Connery tries to blend in with Japanese locals with a disguise that included enhanced eyebrows, a wig and makeup. Well, I went down earlier to the BFI event at South Bank and I asked visitors there what they thought about film bosses going soft. Apparently, the character Odd Job is now offensive. Really? OK. No, I find that very strange. I didn't think in that way then, and I am resisting the temptation to uh, become oversensitive myself. Our villains with always like a deformity or something ugly about them is, and I guess. That kind of thing I don't really agree with. Bond films and certain films like that are always set for how thoughts and how life was back in the day. Do you think we've gone a bit soft? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I just don't understand why anybody would be bothered. Well, I'm delighted to be joined now by a Bond girl of the 007 film franchise. It's actress Jenny Hanley, who was in the 1969 film On Her Majesty's Secret Service and one of... Blofeld's Angels of Death, alongside Bond actor George Lazenby. Jenny, thank you very much for joining me. Great to have you on the show. I mean, I suppose you are as well-placed as anyone to know whether or not, you know, there are issues about the Bond franchise that need to be addressed for modern audiences. Do you think that they've gone too woke now with these trigger warnings? Well, yes, I do. I mean, I was born in the 40s, so I lived through the 60s and, and when they're saying that things have changed. I think it's insulting to give us a warning. It's babysitting. Everybody knows a little bit about the film they're going to go and see. Number one, because it costs so much nowadays. But number two, you know, you don't want to go and see a film that you know nothing about. So if I went to see a film in, that had been made, say, in the 1940s, I don't want someone saying, may upset you because it's not in colour. It mm -hmm. will be in black and white. I mm. know. The Bond films were made in the 60s. You know what to expect. OK. Um, what was it like, can I ask, behind the scenes? Was it, you know, uh, were there issues there at all, ever, you know, or was it all absolutely fine and, and that wasn't also a kind of moment of its time behind the scenes for you? When you say issues, what do you mean? Well, the kind of things that they say about Bond, so the exact same things I will say that they are trying to slap trigger warnings on, right? So outdated attitudes towards women, for example, or, you know, general offensive stereotypes, etc. You know, one of the allegations, of course, is about, um, you know, some issues with, to do with racism, for example, with the way... I don't want to say I agree with any of this, by the way. The way that uh, Sean Connery was portrayed. You know, was there any of that behind the scenes or not? No, we were actors doing our job. It was the 60s. Um, the film that I was in was made in 1969. Uh, we did our best. The scripts were fabulous. The special effects were extraordinary. Um, yeah, you've got all sorts of new ways of filming, new ways of looking at things nowadays. And you've got a new word, woke. We didn't have that word. No. No, and, and do you think it sucks the life out of it, really, that people these days have gone a little bit too soft when it comes to this stuff, like you're looking to be offended? Yes, I do. I, I actually looked up what woke was, and work was originally alert to injustice in society. It was an American word which was hit in the 60s, and the definition has changed. It, it now seems to be if you're upset by anything, 
you are the innocent party, you are woke, and everybody else is wrong. Mm. And the idea that odd job, apparently, with his cleft palate, represented the trope, which, by the way, I didn't realise was a trope, which is part of the reason why I sometimes wonder whether the people introducing these trigger warnings are, in fact, actually the biggest bigots in society, because they appear to see things that have never even crossed my mind. But that because he had a disability and was a villain, that it plays into the trope that um, disabled people are in some way sinister or villainous. Uh, presumably, this just will not have been something that crossed people's minds at the time, no? No, absolutely not. You didn't go and find something wrong with somebody to make them a baddie. Because, mm. ostensibly, what you're saying in parenthesis is, because he had this problem, he had a mental upset and therefore he became a baddie. Oh, mm. come on. No, it, it's, it's making more out of things than they were when they were made. OK, and you don't fear for the potential cancellation of Bond going forward, then? You can't cancel something like that. I mean, it was written in, what was it, the 1950s, and that is the time. Do you want to change Shakespeare and say that you can't study Shakespeare at school now because Romeo and Juliet was underage sex, because there's... Um, murder, poisoning, mm. drowning mm. in Shakespeare's plays. Mm. You become very, very much of a patsy, I think. It's like babysitting. It is. I think uh, people, people know what they're going to go and see, and if they don't, they should have done their homework. And if they're upset, that's their own perception. Well, Jenny, can I thank you very, very much uh, and just say um, I hate to inform you that, in fact, in some Shakespeare plays, they have put trigger warnings on, but I would give you a round of applause, but, of course, we wouldn't want to upset anyone, so I'm going to jazz hand you out. So thank you very, very much, Jenny. Great stuff. All right, see you soon. That's Jenny Hadley there, former Bond girl. Fantastic.